All right, so in part one, you chose your niche, you selected a domain, and you're ready to do this. Now what? Niche or niche? Niche or niche? Whatever, let's go. Welcome to part two of my series of building an affiliate website. In this part, we already have your domain, we have your niche, and we're ready to go. All right, in part one, you chose your niche, you selected a domain, you installed WordPress, you got hosting, everything's ready to go. Now you have WordPress, and you're just not sure where to go, this is where gonna, we're going to give you some direction. All right, first you want to choose a WordPress theme. So what's important when you're choosing a WordPress theme? Well, it could be your budget. You might not be able to spend any money, so you might need a free one. Page speed. Page speed's very important. I'm going to tell you some themes that have good page speed. And then visual appeal. You want something that you like, something you like the way it looks. Maybe you're a designer. Maybe you want to have a lot of control. Maybe you just want to choose a theme and go with it. Either way, there are some solutions for you. All right, so some of the themes that I recommend are Astra and Generate Press. Uh, both of these have a paid and a free option, so it works either way. Obviously, the paid option is going to give you a little more control. You know, it's going to let you do a little more. It's going to have its advantages. I'm going to link to an article at my blog, and it's going to show you exactly what the pros and cons are. These are both good looking themes that offer a free as well as a paid option. Obviously the paid is going to give you some pros and cons. I'll link you to an article in my blog that's going to have information on what the advantage of the pro versions are opposed to the free versions. Uh, another option is Elementor Pro. Elementor Pro is a theme where it gives you a little more control. If you're a designer, you want to, you know, control every little thing about your site you know, you want to make it look exactly how you want, this might be the option for you. Uh, it's the Hello Elementor theme particularly that we recommend. That's a great one for anyone who's building a website, an affiliate site, and wants to have a lot more control over the design aspect of it. All right, once you get your theme selected, we're going to move on to WordPress plugins. These are plugins that are going to help your website with speed as well as SEO. The first plugin we're going to talk about is Rank Math. This is a newer plugin, but what it does, it gives you control over the SEO aspects of your site. Each blog post you make, it'll give you a score. You want to get it close to to 100. It used to be Yoast was the number one SEO plugin, but recently Rank Math has taken over. Cache Enabler is another WordPress plugin. This is going to help you with the page speed on your website. Like I already said, that's an important thing. So without getting too technical, Cache Enabler is going to help with your site speed. And then another plugin is Pretty Links. Pretty Links it's pretty simple. It takes a URL that you'll be directing people to a lot. It makes it an easier URL. For instance, if your website is ilovebasketball.com, you can make ilovebasketball.com slash ESPN. Click on that link. It'll take you directly to the ESPN link of your choice. I'm not sure why you would do that, but that was just for example's sake. Basically, instead of having these long URLs all over your website, you just have something easy you can remember, or you can say it in your podcast. For me, seosorcer.com slash Pretty Links will take you to get the Pretty Links plugin. And really with plugins, you're wanting what's ideal for you. No matter what you want to do on your WordPress site, there's probably a plugin that you can make that happen. Whether you want to have a table of contents on your blog post, you know, whether you want to have a poll, you know, no matter what you want to do, there's probably a WordPress plugin for it. WordPress has been around a while and there's a lot of developers that are making these plugins. So if you have something you're thinking about doing on your WordPress site, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just simply go to your plugin screen and do a search and you'll probably be able to find what you need. All right, now that you know you have your plugins, you have your theme, you're ready to go. You're ready to create some content. So what's the first thing you want to do? You want to create your categories, okay? My blog is going to be about coffee. So it's going to be coffee beans, coffee makers. Uh, you know, I, haven't, I don't have them yet because I'm, I'm going with you. I haven't completed the process. But you're going to make four categories. You're going to link to them in the menu bar. In each of those categories, you want a big article in it. You want to have a thousand plus characters talking about that category. And then when you create blog posts, you're going to link to those underneath of your content or above your content. We'll decide. But no need to worry about the about the specifics. Just start creating that content. Try to get those four articles. We're going to, like I said, those are pillar articles. Those, these are important content because these are where you're going to get most of the people to your site. You're, you, this is where you're going to get build links to these articles. These are just very important. So spend a lot of time in these. If you're a good writer, you can handle it yourself. If not, try to outsource it. Whatever it takes, you need to make sure these are good quality content, whether that means you spending more time on it than usual or whether that means paying more than 
you usually do for a rider. Either way, whether you're looking for a free or a paid option, you're going to want to do what it takes to make sure this is quality. All right, now we have everything in place. You need to choose a theme, install these plugins, choose your categories for your blog, and get those pillar articles for each of your categories. So that's what I want you to do. That's what I'm going to spend the next few days doing. I'm going to make sure I have my everything ready to go at taypresso.com. I'll put a link to that in the bio. Like I said, let's get all of this, get, get the content ready. Let's get everything set to go and see me back here in a few days. And we're going to move on to the next part. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did my pillar content and set my categories and everything set up. And then from there, we're going to move forward and start making that content to bring traffic to the site and start making that affiliate commission because that's what it's all about. Again, I'm Sean with SEO Sorcerer. Thanks you for stopping by and uh, enjoy the content. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell, and I look forward to seeing you again.